Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. If you haven't subscribed and you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Right, straight into business. The Eddie Earn interview today, obviously I'm pointing at camera an IFL interview. So we don't get paid for this, but we're not bothered because we're going to swear in this one and we're going to be raging. So, alright. So here we go. This is the Eddie Earn comments regarding pay per View now. Remember when they look down, they're telling lies. All right. Always remember that when you look, you're talking to somebody, and they look down. That's the first sign of a liar. Always remember that. He's making the weight obviously a lot better. Right. Let's talk all things AJ Ruiz. Yeah. First things first. The pay per view increase to twenty four ninety five. Uh, we were getting used to nineteen ninety five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Look there you go. Look down straight away. Right. This guy here, he's laughing here. You're getting used to £19.99. Laughing straight away. Look, look at him laughing. He's got a Rolls Royce outside. Registration 79EH, by the way. Now, I've driven a Rolls Royce. Gorgeous car, but this man here lives in a Georgian mansion in Ingotston Stock in Essex. Georgian mansion, no mortgage. He's been in it 10 years. Right, no, 11 and a half year he's been in it. 11 and a half year. Right, this guy here laughing his head off. He was in that mansion before he even got into boxing, so he's from money. Here we go. Twenty four ninety five. Um, talk to you about the thinking behind that. Uh, not my decision. Not true. Not true at all. You have an exclusive deal with Sky. Now, unless things have changed since Chris Brown were in charge at Sky. Uh, I very much doubt that you're telling the truth there, Eddie. So that's lie number two. I'm governed by Sky's decisions on that. Sometimes they consult me, sometimes uh, it gets done. It's right, so Eddie Earn, right, has not been consulted about the pay per view going up. Bearing in mind, Eddie Earn's on 20% of the show. So if they sell a million buys at an extra fiver, Eddie Earn gets just under 1.67 million, right? So, but Eddie Earn weren't consulted. So that's like winning lottery, isn't it? So Eddie Earns getting 1.7 extra, but they didn't consult him about it. So that, is that free lies or four? I don't know. His eyes are moving. Freak event. Isn't that? Freak event. How is it a freak event? Was it a freak event before they fought? Before Joshua, right, and Ruiz fought. Was it a freak event? Because Ruiz was just a substitute. One, he was a replacement. But now it's a freak event. How is it a freak event? Joshua got knocked out and he quit. But it's a freak event. It's probably one of the biggest heavyweight fights of all time. Not true, that's five lies. Um, the last one was 995. You know, don't, no, no. The last one was 995. The last what? Pay per view? No, the last Joshua pay per view was 20 quid. The last pay-per-view was KSI. Did you notice how he didn't mention KSI? He just said the last pay-per-view were 9.99, 9.95, whatever. He forgot to mention that were KSI. Two YouTubers having a fight, charging you 99. This guy is a cheating bastard, isn't he? You gotta love him, aren't you, for his cheek? Look, looking down again. Pricing ever means this is the future. I don't believe you will see pay-per-views at 24.95 again, unless it's. The fight of the Can you see why some people are perhaps sceptical that you'd compare the price of Joshua Reeves to the KSI? No, 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 two, no, 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 no. I'm not comparing them. I'm just saying that one's 16.95, one's 9.99, one's 24.95. Neither of those prices, other than the sorry, the, the 19.95 one, are the, the foundation price. You know, the price that is kind of like almost a standard pay per view price. 9.95 was just a decision from Sky that this is a fight at four or five o'clock in the morning. Um, you know, smaller card, less relevance, maybe to a casual audience. That's 9.95. Why is that 9.95? Two guys making the debut as boxers, two YouTubers with no amateur experience. How is that a decision where they decided to charge a tenner? How is that? That is unbelievable. Next gen shows are going to be 15 quid next. They came back and said this is the biggest heavy, one of the biggest heavyweight fights of all time. It's going to be 24.95. So, despite people thinking that I own Sky uh, and own Design, I don't dictate the price of their subscriptions or pay-per-view. So, uh, I understand the decision because of the size of the. Pop 
Eddie, you forget that we all know people that have been on pay-per-view on Sky, people on your shows and people before you were even packing in your job as a golf agent. We know people who've been on pay-per-view. We know people in industry. Stop lying! Fucking hell, they jump out in his mouth! I, you know, obviously I end up getting a stick for it, which is just part of the, part of the game. I understand that as well. So, um, yeah, but it's going to be a... Well, you're not going to be bothered, are you, when you made 45.4 million last year and you're going to cream 20-odd million off this fight? I mean, it's not are we going to get Dillian on that card? I believe so, yeah. Right, Dillian White, right. So, we have a fighter that's been investigated for failing a drug test while his drug ban is pending, right? Tell me another sport where you can get caught for doping but still compete when they haven't even given you your verdict on or your penalty, whatever it is. It's a joke. What happens if Dillian White gets guilty with his B sample and... What if his A sample's guilty and he's pissed in the same cup? How could his B sample be not guilty? I don't get it. So do they, do they put the Rivers fight and this journeyman that is going to fight in Saudi? Do they put them down as a no contest then? Because what if Oscar Rivers dies in the next few months or don't fight again? Because he hasn't fought since, has he? What if? I'm not saying he will though, but. What if this journeyman that Dillian White fights, what if Dillian White kills him or he maims him? What then? What's going to happen then? What is going to happen then? Now, it's hard for me to go into details with this because Dillian White's trainers, me pal and I respect him, but we've got to have fairness in the sport, right? And I don't see how this can be fair. A man being investigated for a drug charge, his second doping offence, and yet they're going to put him on a card in December in Saudi, on big biggest show at year. It's unbelievable. I think in the next 24 hours, I hope to have that confirmed. So he's been putting stuff on social media. Yeah, well, I know, I know. It's like, he's done the confirmation himself. He has, and it's not confirmed, but I do believe uh, there's a very good chance it will be today. No, I'm, I'm not happy with it. Chavez Jr. This kind of situation, I mean, I've seen all sorts of written press, etc. One thing about the potential, you looked at California for the fight, and there were some words of body there that wouldn't allow the fight. No, so what happened? No, this, 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 this is what happened. So. Here we are, what we're talking about now, we're talking about... Eddie Yearns issue with Vegas, right? The Nevada State Athletic Commission. Listen to the lies involved with this man here. And he only moved the fight to to, uh, to Arizona, Ronnie. Right? Listen to this. Listen to the lies here. This is this listen to the twisting. And if you want to know about twisting and herms and the lies, Google Steve Collins versus Barry Hearn High Court transcript scripts on YouTube and go and have a look what Barry Hearn were doing behind the scenes if you want to know about corruption. Against Danny Jacobs, we're looking at three sites. Nevada, uh, Arizona and Texas. Um, I spoke to or the our office spoke to the Nevada Commission said we'd like to request the date. Of December the 20th, so we can hold that for the commission. Uh, who is it? It's going to be, it looks like Jacobs against Chavez. Chavez hadn't signed an agreement, Chavez hadn't enrolled in Varda, and we were just finalising everything with his team. Varda turned up to test him, and he said, I'm not enrolled in Varda, I haven't signed a contract yet. So you're fighting in Vegas, and you know, he said, Well, I'm not, I haven't signed anything, and I'm not involved in Varda. So, is it something to do with once the confirmation is out there, then? One, yeah, yeah. By me requesting the date effectively, because I'm holding the date because I know the fight's going to happen. Yeah. So then all of a sudden, uh, he says, I'm not doing the test. So. Right, Julio Cesar Chavez, right? Eddie Earn now needs Julio Cesar Chavez. Do you know why he needs him? Because the Mexican market has two fighters, the rest of them don't do any numbers. Julio Cesar Chavez and Canelo Alvarez. If he gets Chavez on there, they're going to get more subscriptions. He is desperate to get Chavez on there. Desperate. This is why he wants to get people like KSI Logan Paul on there. The desperate, desperate people do desperate things. But what he's forgetting to tell you is sponsors are already pulling out with his own because they've spent a fortune. And this man here, he's done his best to line his pockets. He has lined his pockets that much that he has hardly been home for nearly two years now. He has lined his pockets that much that the bubble will burst soon. And he knows that. 
But he's not bothered because he's creaming 20% off all that money. He will make probably 150 million out of it all. Because they've got over a billion to go in part. And like I said, he gets 20%. He's known as Mr. 20%. Take a good look at him. Because he's the man responsible for putting Sky up a fiver. Him and his cronies. Oh, effectively missing the test. Said, I ain't signed up for nothing, so go away. They also turned up to test Danny Jacobs in Atlanta. He was in New York. Not true! It was a bit of a mess, to be honest with you. It was all a bit strange. But anyway. So but anyway! Nevada said around said, We're going to suspend your. Well, he doesn't have a license. He's not American. So I'm not sure how they suspended him. But anyway, that was their decision of Bob Bennett, which we respect. We then spoke to the ABC. We spoke to them and said, Look, what do we do in this situation? You know, we have the right, presumably, because Nevada's Nevada. I'm assuming that's the Arizona Boxing Council. But watch the, hypo the hypocrisy of it. If it un unbelievable. Daniel Jacobs were dying of cancer a few years ago. And Julio Cesar Chavez is a drug cheat. He's a drug cheating Mexican. Right? So he's trying to sign a drug cheat to the zone. Mr. Integrity here. Putting a drug cheat in with a guy who, who, who were half dead other year. Of, of cancer. Who shouldn't be nowhere near a boxing ring. To apply to other commissions to see uh, if they will license the fire. Yes, you can. So we went to the sites that we were in negotiations with in Texas and in Arizona. And the answer was yes, no problems. We, went, we decided to go to Talking Stick Arena, which is home of the Phoenix Suns, which is where Chavez Sr. had his last ever fight. Arizona Commission said no problem at all uh, as long as he starts testing straight away. And he, he signed up on the day, once we said that to him, to full VADA testing, and so did Danny Jacobs. I sent the forms in to Margaret Goodman, and she said, no, we're not going to test him because he's suspended in Nevada, and I don't want to upset Bob Bennett. I, I was very disappointed with that. They're an independent testing commission. What they were trying to do to you there, Eddie, they're trying to blackball you, right? There'll be somebody behind the scenes who don't like you because, let's have it right, Eddie Hearn was a bully at school, a horrible kid, right? He's had everything all his life and he's still a fucking bully now, isn't he? And when he doesn't get his own way, oh, a bit disappointed, oh, unlucky. And my answer to them is, are you going to test Jarrell Miller? You know, because that really upset me. Why are they going on about Jarrell Miller? Eddie Hearn tried to sign Jarrell Miller five weeks ago. Tried to sign him and he's only crying because he went to Bob Arum. <laughs> Eddie tried to sign him. <laughs> hey, tried to sign him. He signed Luis Ortiz, a two time cheat as well. James Tony. You know, Enzo Macronelli, he's been on Sky. I mean, it's just the hypocrisy is unbelievable. And the answer is yes, they're already doing it. So this is guy's missing. And Dillian White, he signed him when he failed one test. He's also failed two now, hasn't he? Oh, we're waiting on one of them. <laughs> Oh, hypocrisy yet again. Went back to uh, Arizona, explained the problem. They said, uh, how about using uh, drug free sport, who tests for the NBA, who tests for. Which is the softest drug programming of the lot. It means they're not going to let the main testers in, done it? Unbelievable. So they're going to get Chevez to fight, and they've got soft testing process involved. Shocking. The NFL, we test for a lot bigger considering there's been a lot of NFL players caught. Yeah, yeah. No, we're happy. To, to be honest with you, as long as the commission are happy with the, with the testing procedure, our job's kind of like done. So Your well, job's done, we're getting it to Arizona, the weakest kittens, Arizona. Very weak commission. Agency, so. Al Heyman's ran him out of Vegas. That's what's happened. Why don't you just say it, Eddie? Al Heyman's kicked you out Vegas. That's what's happened. All right, because you've upset that many people, you're not going to get the Vegas bounty now. So you're probably not going to get a Canelo fight in Vegas because you've upset a lot of people. But that's who we signed up with, and Phoenix turned around and said, no problem. Uh, Arizona, sorry, and we're on sale. We sold a huge amount of tickets. Yesterday they had. Not only the hearing, but they didn't actually decide anything. They said it's just postponed until December the 18th, which is two days before the fire. Again, this is kind of new market, new territory for me. Spoke to Arizona Commission. They said, no, nothing changes, no problem. Fight goes ahead. So I'm hoping to speak to Bob Bennett. Bob Bennett wrote to me and said, we're not happy. We may not uh, extend your license next year when it's June. I said, but you can do what you can do. 
got me to promote Sherry in Las Vegas, so be it. But as far as I'm concerned, we follow protocol. Listen. Eddie Earn not being able to put a show on in Vegas. He is devastated. The fight takes place, and that's it. Okay, what do you make of the new uh, Horror Davis? Horror is like, but he's hot and cold, isn't he? He's... I haven't seen O'Hara for a long time. Yeah. We all know what you did to O'Hara, don't we, Eddie? A bad guy, wasn't he? When they did the draw. I've had enough of you, Eddie, now. I've had enough of you. Look. We all we all know, don't we? Right? We all know what Eddie did to Alwara Davis, don't we? Right, look at time here. Half seven. Half seven on a Thursday night. We all know what Eddie did to Alwara Davis, right? He shafted him. Then when he go, when he were gonna sign for Frank Warren, what did he do? What did he do? Tried to get him back, but we're too late then. Right, he'd gone with MTK and he were going with Frank Warren. Good luck to Ara Davis. I like him, Oara. You're welcome on the channel anytime you want. Anytime you want to blow some steam off, I like Oara Davis. Me and Dennis uh, spent some time with, well, I did at the bar in uh, in Leeds in Warrington. In, in Leeds, sorry, at the Josh Warrington fight in Leeds uh, last May. So I like Oara Davis. He told me what had gone on. We all know that Charlie Sims shafted Oara Davis, backstabbed him. And they threw him to Wolves because Paul Smith and Bellew and all them Liverpool lads were all texting Eddie saying he was going on about Hillsborough and that. Well, Awara wasn't even born then. It's like me going on about Ibrox, you know, there's the, the awful uh, uh, incident, a bit similar to Hillsborough, where people died at a football game in Scotland. It's like me going on about that, innit? I won't, I won't mention it, obviously. And maybe Awara were a bit naive, but. You know, tragedies like that, I don't think Awara understood. You know, but he didn't mention Hills, I think he just mentioned the Sun newspaper, didn't he? So I, I don't I don't understand that. Uh, I don't understand why they why they why they threw him under a bus. I think they did it. Uh, I mean he said it's because of his friends in Liverpool, he'd upset his friends. Well, Awara Davis saying he were gonna put something in the Sun newspaper or something. Upset some Liverpool friends of Eddie as well. The same people, Tony Bellew and Paul Smith, fought on a Sun newspaper sponsored show. Right. A Sun newspaper sponsored show had Paul Smith and Tony Bellew on it on a Frank Warren card, right? But yet, they weren't bothered about the Hillsborough then, were they? Paul Smith and Tony Bellew, they weren't bothered then, were they, about taking money on a Sun sponsored show? But yet, they were bothered about Awara Davis Prince, some in Sun newspaper about Tommy Coyle, so hypocrisy yet again. But Eddie Hearn made his send look good in front of the Liverpool public, didn't he? Because Liverpool's an hard sell for boxing, so he made a stand, didn't he? And who knows, in his head he'd have thought, oh, I'll get well in here and we'll throw our way our at at Wolves because he doesn't sell a ticket. And that's basically what happened with that incident, so what a wanker, eh? Bad person. You got a problem, Eddie? Come see me. I ain't bothered about ya. But it is what it is, isn't it? So peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. I'm now going to upload these videos and go home. I'll be home about 10 o'clock tonight when these are done. What are you doing with your life, all you trolls? Oh, speaking of troll watch, we're going to call this video Eddie Watch, but troll watch. 27 people, I'm going to show you it now. I read all names out to you earlier. Battery's going to go on and then make it quick. Right, battery's going to go. These are all the hidden accounts. Right, what I meant, I didn't want you to think that. Well, I'm bullshitting you. Uh, here we go. I don't think there's anything on this phone that's dodgy. Hang on a minute. Let's have a look. Right, there you go. That does go down like that. No, oh, right. You see that there? See all them there? Can you see all them accounts there? They are hidden accounts, right? Can you have a good look at that? Let me see if I can get a better picture for you. I want to. I want you to see all, all, all these people on here. I want you to have a good look. Have a good look at these people. These are all people that keep sending abuse.
And you see, look at them. Can't keep it still, can I? Hang on, we'll put it on there. Look at them, boom boom coil, look at that one there. Third one across from top and then second one down. Who we got there? Hey, who we got there? Andrew Bowcroft, eh? Look at all them there, get it paused on your thing. Look at them lot. There's 27 there, look at them all. Samba King 7, there are a lot of them, eh? Good, nice people them, aren't they, eh? Eh? Look at them all, Robert Britton. Oh, a lot of them, eh? So, peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. There's the trolls exposed. They are hidden accounts on YouTube now. YouTube is like me, when you get onto advanced stage, you can have a look for them on your accounts. So it just shows you who's trolling you and hiding. Right? But YouTube gives you off features where you can find them. So there you go, exposed. Don't fuck about with Big Porky. We will expose you. All right, we are boxing truthers as well as hardcore. So peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. There you go, the voice of hardcore boxing.